he says, you need at least two inches to even make a snowman. Yeah. That's a perfect response. I like, that's my son. Ah, and why is he accurate? You do it. There is a minimum. <laughs> there is a minimum. <laughs> why is that the accurate number? That is Girl, so funny. When I told everybody that, they were like dying laughing. They Come on, be like, talk to me when we talk to me when we talk in snowman material. <laughs> when we dealing with snowman, we'll talk. Right now, yeah, yeah, we got we got snowman requirements before I put a code. Right, on. right now we just I'm gonna just my time. right, right now I'm gonna just enjoy these little flurries through the window if it's all right with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, let, let me get back to my video game. Look, know. let me know when it sticks. How about that? Yeah, sure. After you said that, I just, I just left him alone. I said, okay. How tall is he now? Yeah, that yeah, bullet. He can't wait. He can't wait to get to me. I said. Hey. He already know. He already know he got genetics on both sides. He already know it's coming. No, no, no. I already know. He probably thinks he's going to be able to manhandle me when he get older. He don't know. I will chop him in his throat just like I did when he was young. I got news for you. I guarantee he know it. Oh, okay. <laughs> just, to, just to let you know. Look, he don't, look, he don't even know. Now, can remember this moment. Because he owe me a thank you for saving his life in the future. <laughs> He owe me a thank you because you go, you would have had in your mind. Oh, oh, he think, oh, because you already ready. You ready for the day that he, for the day he decide, for the day he decide. And it's going to be one day where he might have just smarted off, but he, he didn't decide to come at you. He just smarted off wrong. But your mind going to be like, oh, this must be the day. Let's go. <laughs> but you going to remember your big sister said, no, 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 no. Right, 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 right. But you're going to be like, no, no. She said that he knows. And then he going to keep talking and you're going to realize, oh, okay, he do know. He just wanted to, he, he needed to exercise his manhood as he developed for a second. Uh, but but not more than that to lose his life. So, I get it, I get it. You need to call your auntie and tell her thank you for saving your 19, 18, 19, 19 year old life. <laughs> However old he is when he do that, that stuff. Because this is the time right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad you did. I'm so glad you did. Girl, you are a blessing. Girl, you are blessed. And you know what? Normally, you don't want to say something like that to, you know, because it kind of come off like against the mom. But it is what it is in this world right now. Good, 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 good. Because, you know, people tiptoe over stuff. And, you, and, 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 and especially since her mom is an alcoholic, you grow up old enough to be able to have to have those hard conversations. So I'm so glad. I'm so glad you had that conversation with her. And I'm so glad. It was weird. It was just out of blue. I was watching the movie. I was good. That's, that's God, God. God said call your niece right now. It ain't got, like, look, it, look, she whispered in your ear. She's like, hey, hey. He's like, this ain't got nothing to do. Look, this ain't got nothing to do with this movie, but, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> call you know, But however the message got to you, it came straight from, like, it was supposed to. Right. Yeah. Right. And when, and little do we even maybe realize, maybe in that moment, because maybe something had just happened in that household that where she needed to have that conversation, too. You don't have no idea. Something could have just happened. Or something could have happened the day before where she was thinking about that thing that happened the day before. Like, this is some bull. And she just was about to lash out and and just, you know. I don't know how much of it she has in her, but I internalize a lot. And I'm old enough to internalize and not let that destroy me. Young people, they don't all have that. And she needs, you You gave her what she needed in that moment. And God gave you gave it to you to for you to always have in you. So it's always ready. And um, it it hit you in a moment that it that it needed to. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. One of the one of her Christmas gifts was envelopes and stamps and paper. So, uh, okay. cause since she don't call me, she can write whenever she needs to. Now, whenever I write her, I put it on. I get. I, I send it to mom's address. And the reason why I do that is because since they moved, cause y'all know me, and and they, and she knows me. I didn't even know she moved, right? Cause she didn't tell me. I'm sure she was embarrassed. But anyway. So she didn't tell me. In fact, I didn't talk to... Well, anyway, she didn't tell me. So even when I communicated with them, when I wrote, I would send it to mama's address because that's never given me her address. Yeah, me either. Okay? And to me, it's just like a phone number. You know how I do with phone numbers? I don't care if I got somebody's phone number. If they didn't give it to me or if I don't know that, you know, it wasn't an agreement, well, get my number from such and such, something like that. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not taking it for granted that you meant for me to have your, your information. So, uh, even when I write, I write her at mom's address until the day it says out of her mouth. I don't think she kind of keep it from me because she know I, she know I know she's moved now. But I haven't never been verbally told the address. In fact, I've been asked asked to reiterate my address so they could send me some when they was first making hand sanitizers, so they could send me some hand sanitizers that they never sent. I wasn't looking for it because it's everywhere. Did we in a pandemic? We got hand sanitizer all over the universe right now, and it was—I didn't need none. But when she said, "Oh, what's your address?" so we we could send you some whatever. First of all, she already had my address, mm -hmm. and then when I gave it to her, I ain't never seen the first lick of no. Oh, they had too of of hand sanitizer that they had too much of. 
And so that made me concerned because I know some she has some tendencies when she's, you know, not when she's backsliding or whatever. You know what I mean? But either way, the, my, my bottom line is I have never a asked and I'm not going to. The day she gave me her address. Or, you know, she's even asked me, she told me, oh, yeah, send me such and such and such, you know, I might have, you know, some, some uh, clothes I'm looking at for all of y'all, you know what I mean? And she's like, yeah, send me such and such, I'm trying to figure out what y'all, make sure I have y'all size, and when I, yeah, yeah, this and this, and then she's telling me what everybody need, okay, cool, cool. But between me and you, I'm thinking, well, where am I sending it? Because, bitch, you still haven't sent me your, your address. You haven't given me your address. You can assume mama gave it to me if you want to, but even if mama tried, I'm like, no. Not unless she give it to me. Because she, I, I'm assuming that she don't want me to have an address for as long as she holds. She sent me pictures of herself on her porch. But and until you give me your address, I'm going to assume you don't want me sending you nothing there. So it's going to all go to mama. They're going to hopefully pick it up on the porch because I don't want them, you know, affecting them too. Or, you know, just take precautions and, you know, do wear your mask and spray it in before and after if you need to. But whatever. But I'm so glad you, um, I'm so glad you had that conversation. I'd be, I'd be wanting her to call me sometime, but she had called me and she sent me a picture. She had called me, you know, the thing for Christmas gifts and she sent me a picture. She, um, uh, with pink hair and, um, yeah, chocolate. pink hair and, uh, them, them, uh, what, uh, they'll call fan lashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big long fan. So she said the, uh, the, the thing that made me feel, feel better about her situation is at least she living with the dude that she's been dating, uh, for, for years, a couple of years at least, so. I was like, at least it's that, because I wouldn't want to think that she was with somebody that abused her. But I guess even if he do, is she familiar with I mean, he, he didn't kill her in two years, so at oh, least... Lord, you know why I can't with your hang-up <laughs> <laughs> I Girl, you know, I was... Girl, did I, did I tell you she lied every time she opened her mouth? I was like, okay, well, as long as she with somebody, at least she, at least she with somebody she's familiar with. And I, and I was trying to find out. I was like, so do y'all spend enjoy your time together? I was trying to see if they be out partying. So I, I don't be surprised if they end up with COVID. Like, yeah, we she told me so many girls, so many lies. Did she tell me he lies, lies, and lies and lies? Don't believe it. It, it. it don't make even make sense. I told her what she told me, girl. I told you. I told. Her. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, oh, well, okay. What kind? Because I don't believe she do what she say she do. And I was like, okay. I was like, what? Well, I was like, okay. What does he do? Because when she just said, yeah, I knew he didn't work. Because she would have told me what he do. So I said, oh, I was like, what'd he do? She's like, oh, he, um, he going to the service. Because when you say it like that, he going into the service. That means he ain't even signed up. So that means he don't work. What are you saying? She's like, he going to the service. And I was like, so, so is he, is he in the service? Because I'm like, are you an army? You know, I didn't say it, but I'm like, are you trying to tell me you're an army wife or something? Because that's some bull. What are you talking about? So anyway, I said, so is he, I was like, did he just sign up? And I was, she was like, uh, she's, yeah. And I said, I said, oh, okay. I said, that's cool. You know how I just be, I, I let a person how to line up a liar. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's cool. I was like, what branch is he in? I don't know. Bitch, it's just four. It's four. You don't know which branch of the military he done signed up for? And you the, you the uh, housewife? Oh, Lord. Okay, cool. I was like, oh, that's good. I was like, that's cool. You know, I was like, oh, that's awesome. So good for you. So proud of you lies you lie the whole time again like i said in this world of limited life that we have at least she here to lie about it i guess <laughs> at least she here to lie about it and at least oh and then when she told me she was i was like um i i came out and asked you haven't protected set yes ma'am i was like okay because and i wasn't even talking about the baby at this point i know she was first going to baby she's like she's like yeah she's like i, I at least i'm the one in the family that, that you know i'm whatever and, and i'm tw i'm 21 and i'm pregnant or whatever and i she wow. She said she make it sound like all of us were teen mothers. What are you talking about right now? You did that for the family? I was like, look, you didn't just think of it this way. Even if everyone, every female in the family had been a teen mother, I was like, you didn't do that for the family. Just think of it of you doing it for yourself, cause you have to, cause you would have to live with that. <laughs> what did you did you think if you got pregnant it was gonna be my child? Cause you you did that for you. You didn't help me out by not getting pregnant. What are you doing right now? Like, chill. So I, I, I basically just inspired, I turned it into an inspirational conversation. I was like, well, I was like, like I said, if, if all of us had been team mothers and you were the one that hadn't, I'd celebrate you for breaking that cycle if that were the case. I was like, but even if it was the case, I was like, you want to do this for you. I was like, start, you know, start inspiring yourself to, for, to want things for yourself. You know what I mean? Do it for you. So that's how that went. But I was like, no, she didn't. She like, she broke a cycle or some shit. Girl, who'd you say? At least I did for the family. She did that for the family, didn't? At least I'm this age and not pregnant. Uh, girl, you also this age and lied about going to college. I knew that the whole time. But I'm a chill because everybody else wasn't believing it. <laughs> and I'm not even glad about it. Like, I want you to win. Like, I don't know why people think just because you ask them for accountability 
that you looking for them to fail. Like that's the whole opposite. I'm looking for you to. I'm looking for you to win. For you, not for me. Cause if you don't win, I'ma still be doing what I'm doing. Right. It ain't for me. I'm not telling you this for me. I'm not telling you this so I can celebrate when you fail. I'm telling you this so you don't have to. It, you can avoid the 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 failure or the trauma that comes with whatever that is. Yeah, I hope I hope she find it on her own because she she's at an age where she she have to, and and that's another reason I'm so glad you call and talk to right now. You know, because this is because like you said, it's going to be a collection of choices that are going to come together to meet themselves when she's uh, of adult age. And I'm glad you put that bug in her ear because when you told me about that, if she goes stay with a daddy, that you'll be closer, you know, and have more access, can have more influence. I was thinking like, ah, oh, it's too bad. You know, I I was low key thinking was I wish you know she was old enough to know like how that works so she could take some steps and you know kind of influence that option but but that so when you found out it was true then what happened oh I oh, wish I had a conversation about it you know mm -hmm. like because what and I I had to, I, it's funny you should say that because since this since this situation has come come into the country as a whole I was like um even outside of that you know a lot of people we're not hearing it on the news because of course the president is muffling the media but there are people who are losing, like, they might lose a sibling. Like, I know somebody now have 12 kids because they had to take their siblings' kids because them and their spouse died of COVID. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, that could happen. And, you know, it's kind of unfair to make assumptions that somebody else should take the kid. You know what I mean? So, like, discussion should be had. So, it's really refreshing to hear that. And more people should really consider it because a lot more of us are about to become Birdie Max. You know? And, and have to raise people's siblings' kids that when the, when both of the people, you know, fall ill. That's just what, what it is. What you... Yeah, I'm so glad. To, I love you so much. Outside of all that, too. I just love you so much. Um, you're just a woman that uh, is a blessing to know. I'm just, I just have the added perks of being related to you as family. But you are a, um amazing woman to be, uh, to call family, whether someone's related or not. And I just, I, you are a blessing to this world. And I ain't gonna cry. Ain't nobody gonna cry. <laughs> It ain't gonna happen, ain't gonna happen, ain't gonna happen, ain't gonna happen. That's what ain't gonna happen. That's what you're not gonna make me do. What you not gonna do? Uh-huh. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think about that often, and I, and, and I, I think I have gratitude for, you know, all the people in my life, and I have a specific <laughs> uh, platform pedestal for you for that gratitude. Yeah. So, you're that chick, and I'm so glad. And sometimes I'd be like, you know, I wish things were different when we were younger, but we were also so many years apart. It just was, that's not how it was supposed to be. I was in junior high, you were in elementary. When I was in high school, you were in junior high. We was never, we never had, we never even went to the same school at any point. So, you know, we were going to have different, it was different ages still. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's a big difference <laughs> when you talk socially, socially speaking. Right. And just like that, I don't feel like, I mean, I didn't have the big sister that, what we would be we would conceive that people would have when they have their big sisters or whatever but i don't feel like i missed out on anything because i didn't need to be close to someone like that you know what i mean that's just not i mean because the reality is once i start choosing my, my friends on my own that's not somebody i would even choose so i'm glad that i didn't have the feel the obligation to have her in my life just because she was my big sister you know from not being that close i'm glad about that but you know i always wanted her to be great i always want my family to be great no matter what. But it's a choice at the end of the day. It ain't, and it ain't mine. <laughs> Only my happiness is my choice. So. I was telling somebody the other day. I was like, yeah. I was like, I, I, got, I, was like, I was just saying the other day. Oh, she said she hadn't talked to her parents, I think, in so long. And she was basically said that it ain't her problem to fix. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I was... And, you know, people... Just because people family, people make assumptions. And I told her, basically... I was like, I'm proud of you for, com for being an adult and coming to that conclusion. And... Uh, I said, I'm sorry you haven't experienced your parent, but I'm proud of you for prioritizing your own personal wellness so you can break a cycle. And I said, one of the hardest things to realize is a relative is not the family you need. I spoke on the clear divide of family versus relatives because people are conditioned to believe there's a thin line. I said, I have a sister I dis decided to distance myself from, and I spent all these years free of her shenanigans. But I love her. I was like, I definitely love her, but I love her so much that I'm going to help her avoid messing up my life that I deliberately built <laughs> without certain people in it. And I repeated her thing. I was like, you said it best when you said the issues are hers to fix. And, and uh, you know, and I'm okay with who, whatever it is. Uh, I'm dealing with it. I'm good with right. it. It's some, <laughs> it's some things that you just release. What I'm going yeah. to do. What I'm do. Uh, it's good. I, I encourage and I want the best for you. But if I see you don't, you don't. It's like, wow, okay. But I love you. 
I love you. Right. I love them all. Let me go because I want to get this house clean up because I want to be pouting in a clean house when he get home. <laughs> Even oh, though okay. it's, it'll, I'll still be pouting. I don't care. He said, talking about he had sent me a text when we were on the phone. That's what I went and got because uh, he was expecting the package. He's like, thank you. Sending me all kissy face and heart face. I'm just like, YW, you're welcome. <laughs> K, I'm terrible. We'll be we'll be over tonight, but okay, I'm mad. Hold, now, I'm, now I'm, do, I'm guilty of doing, this, doing the stuff that I'm telling people you ought not be doing, holding on to petty stuff. Mm, it's natural. Yeah, it's natural. It ain't gonna last long. Like your DNA. I know, I know who your, your parents were, especially your daddy. No, I'm mad. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I get, I, get, I get what them old women used to say when they be like, I ain't going nowhere and he ain't going nowhere, so it's whatever. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. And especially in this time, even people that don't really truly love each other, they ain't going nowhere. Right. It's too hard what you ain't nobody out there, ain't nobody party, ain't nowhere to get to get exposed to mingle. Ain't no mingling. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 love the one you with. So anyway, I love you. I'm glad to hear from you. I'm glad you're sounding good, doing good. The only time I'm doing that is when I uh, when I get beside myself and I think I'm invincible. <laughs> Cause I don't want to be. How do you? How do you? How do you? Uh, how do you police yourself when you do that? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> so, it'll give me a knee-jerk reaction. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Right. I know you done heard Adele talk about that, right? She'd be like, all oh, them oh, knees. No, I but I know that when I when we used to travel together and she would come, first she would come to the door, I'm like, uh, what you got this heat on? Hell? Because I kept it hot. That's when I, when I was young, before these hot flashes, I was always cold. But then she'd like, she would go to move, she would go to move, uh, uh, we would leave the room or something. And she was like, whoa. She's like, what the, she's like, oh, these knees. Like the, like the ancestors say, you listen to your body. Listen to your body. That's why some people, you know, it's different. It stuff can be generalized, but some stuff is different for different people. And people, middle aged people, be knowing their body. Yeah, I be, I be fooling myself. Girl, don't do it. All right, let me get off this phone. Yourself. Girl, yeah, you gotta get ready for your mind. Oh, I got a few hours, but the, the house is a mess, and I haven't, I can't even count the stuff I haven't done. I just, I'm in a pigsty right now. Oh, okay. And I need to order, and I need to order groceries. Girl, guess what? Oh, guess what? His mom and sister got us for Christmas. What? It's worth a zillion dollars. A zillion? Wow. I don't know. What is it? Girl, uh, girl, they gave us a case of Lysol. We was like, what? Case of Lysol? This is like, this is gold in this era right here. <laughs> it was so, it was so, right, it was so funny because we was like, we was uh giving them Lysol can because they was serious about that Lysol. Because, you know, we use alcohol. I use alcohol. I was like, they ain't finna convince me to participate in this Monopoly money grab. Like, Lysol knew this was coming and the system knew this was coming and they had a conversation about how much money they was about to make off this thing. And I was like, what happened? I was like, alcohol. I was like, I don't even, girl, I have hand sanitizer just because I had it around the house. But I, I, when this broke out, I was like, okay, I need alcohol. Then we put alcohol in little spray bottles. And that's what we hand spray in the hands. We spray whatever we get from outside in a store with the alcohol. When the groceries are delivered, I spray the bags before I grab and bring it in. And then I spray everything individually before I put it away. So I'm an alcohol girl. I just got to be careful when you do that, though. You got to be really careful about... I try not to use it in the kitchen at all because I ain't playing them games. I ain't trying to play with no open flames and alcohol at all. But, you know, alcohol, like they say, oh, uh, Lysol kill this and that germ on uh, contact. Okay, what alcohol don't? No, I'm good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead with this uh, alcohol, <laughs> like always. But I ain't saying I ain't saying that to say we ain't gonna use the Lysol because we we gonna use it. But anyway, okay, I love you. Kiss and kiss and hug the boys for me. High five, boomy. Give me my roommate. I will. High five, your roommate. <laughs> The subscriber you have dialed is not in service. If you feel you've received this message... Girl, what's wrong with your phone? Girl, I don't know who's gonna ask you the same thing. No, I can't... Did, I called you like 1,700 times just now when we lost and it said the subscriber you have dialed is not in service. Wow, boy, Girl. Okay. Well, I love you. Okay, I'm done. I love you. Okay, I love you too, girl. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye.